and welcome back to Romania. We are currently still in the city of Brasov in the middle of Romania in Transylvania. It is surrounded by the Carpathian Mountains. It's a beautiful little town and one of the most popular cities to visit in all of Romania. Yeah, it's the most visited city outside of Bucharest probably. It's very famous because it's a real historical medieval city. Today we're going to explore Brasov. We're going to explore some of the main sites and try one Romanian dish that we haven't done on our Romanian food tour and that I've been dying to try because it's a dessert and she's it's been, pretty famous. She's been it's nagging me every day. It's called Papa Nasi and we'll show you later and what it it's all about. So good. We are now on the Piazza Sfatului, the main square here in Brasov. Behind me you've got the city hall with the clock tower. Over there you've got the Black Church, which is one of the biggest churches of uh, Eastern Europe. So you've got some colorful buildings all around here, all in typical medieval style. Uh, you've got Mount Tampa there, it's a famous peak with Brasov uh, letters on top of it, a bit like Hollywood. Uh, I don't think we're going to climb today because it seems a bit uh, foggy today. So and also I read there are actually wolves and lynxes in those mountains. Yeah, and the mountains just right here. I mean, what would this be, 500 meters? There's wolves living there, brown bears, uh, lynxes, uh, pretty much everything. So uh, I don't feel like becoming bear or wolf food today. I'm uh, yeah, too pretty to be eaten. But the bears are hibernating at the moment, so it should be fine probably. Yeah, and, and until you wake one up and he's hungry. And then you don't have food with you, so... And now they go to sit there, stalk their prey until another unsuspecting tourist drops them a snack. The famous pigeons of Brasov. They're ruthless. <laughs> of the square there is this big shop that looks a little bit like a wooden cart uh, looks a little bit rustic very charming and you can get some hot wine so since it's pretty cold outside I thought I would get one just to warm up a little bit it's only five lei which is like one euro about a dollar or ten cents something like that it looks a little bit like a sangria in Spain because there's still fruit in there which normally I think for hot wine if you have it at home it's not the case but cheers it's a weekend day and it's afternoon so it's appropriate to drink it's nine o'clock in the morning on a monday it's not true it's actually pretty good it's not too sweet hot oh, nice and hot and just just holding the cup makes my heart warmer we're now heading to the black church which is a gothic church that's over 600 years old i really really like Brasov. it's like it's, you can really feel that it's a medieval city it's beautiful it feels like going back in time a little bit The black church was built around the end of the 14th century and took about 100 years to complete it. But in the 17th century there was a really big fire destroying most of the old city of Brasov and part of the church was also destroyed. That's why it called the black church because at that time most of the walls and the inside were completely black from the fire. Um, we had a quick check in the church. It's a typical Gothic church. Uh, it's not that special the inside, it's not like it's very specially decorated or something, it's quite sober I would say. Uh, you need to pay 5 euro for two people for entrance, but you're not allowed to film or take any photographs inside, which quite frankly I find a little bit ridiculous because it's just a church, why wouldn't someone be able to take a picture or just take a small video? Okay. I think it's a little bit of a cultural thing as well, because Romanians aren't too fond on videos, if we so much as whip out the camera, every yeah. Romanian inside would be like, <laughs> anyway. It, it's just a church, I mean. Maybe they just should rename the church to the almost black church or like the gray church with off-white patches. <laughs> what the heck? I don't think uh, the Romanian people will be very pleased with your suggestion. Anyway, we're gonna make our way now to the next um, stop we're gonna have here in Brasov, which is... Katerina Gate. Katerina it's, Gate. Uh, the city is walled, so it was a fortified city in the medieval times, which is why it was... Uh, lessons for a long time as a city uh, and one of the main gates here is actually the Katerina gate uh, just a few minutes walking from here so I don't have to go too far so what you have a lot here in Brasov is like these small bakery shops that are like literally hole in the wall and when it's uh it's pretty convenient actually because when it's yeah, winter they can just close their window yeah. um, 
They have some uh, sweet stuff here and some savory stuff. Usually they have some pizza and then some sausage-like rolls, uh, sweet pies as well. So I'm uh, gonna grab a quick snack while we walk to uh, Katrina Gate. I got myself a little apple pie. <laughs> a little apple pie? You're kidding me? That's like that's like a pound apple pie or something. It's actually very very heavy. I, I didn't know it would be this big. Whoa, that oh, it's warm. It's still a little bit warm. Stay away from my apple pie. Like because I was very protective of his food. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Some cinnamon and some uh, powdered sugar on top. Nice to keep me warm for the road. Don't you look at my food like that. I know what you're <laughs> thinking. This is all mine. I just love these little bit picturesque medieval streets. Got these small houses, big houses, like everything is a different size, different color, like nothing is like really matches. matches, but in the end it matches all together because it's so different. Yeah, it's really, it creates really cool. a nice little vibe. And it just It's a little bit icy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit icy. And it's just really nice just to walk around here a little bit in Brasov. Yeah. Nice little houses, cute yeah. little doors. Although I think that was a garage door, but hey. Behind me is Catherine Gate. It was built in the 16th century. It was the only gate that the local Romanians were allowed to use because uh, from the 13th to about 17th century, Brasov was under Saxon rule, current day Germany. Um, what are you doing? Nothing. Just enjoying the snow. <laughs> She's throwing snowballs, ice balls at me. I mean, that's, that's dangerous, kid. I mean, we don't, we don't do that here. It's, you know, we're not risk takers. No, it's true. You're living in my, in my shadow now. So, the remains were not allowed to enter the city center of Brasov by the Saxons. They were only allowed into the city center at certain times and they had to pay an entrance fee. And they went inside to actually sell their produce, like uh, they were farmers and they were selling their stuff. That's the only time when they were allowed to enter the city center, so... Damn you Germans. So we're gonna have a look to see what... You can find on the other side of the gate because that is the way back into the city center but it's very very icy here and it's quite slippery because now it's not snow anymore it's like properly ice so Ooh. i hate slipperiness uh -oh. okay probably shouldn't do this give me your hand yes this is a, a fantastic plan hmm. i'm gonna find me <laughs> okay not good on land. <laughs> look, at, look at the fear in her eyes. <laughs> it's actually true, there is a lot of fear right now if you would look into my eyes. I can't even ice skate, that's how bad I am on slippery surfaces and skiing also wasn't a great success. So, oh. It's pretty entertaining though. <laughs> it's like a little dance you're doing. <laughs> Put your hand in the air. Now I'm good. Now is a bit where I'm probably gonna fall because I think, oh, it's over. Yeah, she's not a very stable person, I would say. In terms of balance, I am very emotionally what? stable. <laughs> uh, no, put it down. <laughs> ah, you missed. Damn it, there's no snow here to defend me. I think my best defense in this case would be to just push you over. Seems like there's a little courtyard, courtyard uh, here with some uh, government buildings as well. So pretty nice. And it's actually interesting because there's a lot more snow here yeah. than there was in like the yeah, harbor we just were at the main square. Yeah, just five minutes ago we were in the city center and there was like almost no snow. Yeah, there was quite a bit of snow actually. And if you look that way in the sky neighborhood, um, yeah, behind the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually quite a lot of snow. I think it's time for dessert. I do not say it's time for the dish I have been dying to try. Well, there's actually one site maybe I want to see still. It's uh, the smallest street here in Romania. It's one of the smallest streets the in all of one, Europe. Yeah, yeah the, the narrowest one. I think there's two streets that are a bit more narrow, but like this is like top three narrow streets in Europe. So 
curious to see that one as well. So maybe we can pass by there quickly and then uh, go for dessert? Yeah, let's do that. I get a feeling that this is going to be a lot better. Oh, God damn it! No! No! <laughs> you almost threw that right at the camera. Haha, I won this round. Didn't That's I? it, we're getting divorced. <laughs> we're not married. Oh, Alright, you can just walk away. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Have fun now. So this is Rope Street or String Street. It's called that way because further down there are a few ropes hanging from the sides of the walls. It's the narrowest street in all of Romania and one of the most narrow alleyways in all of Europe actually. It is 111 to 135 centimeters wide depending on where you would measure it. It's 80 meters long, there are 27 windows looking out into the little alley. And uh, actually in 2018 these were painted by local artists. So it's quite colorful and quite nice actually, but it was originally built so that the firefighters of Vlasov could easily access different parts of the city uh, without having to do detours all the time. Here we get to the stringy part. That is why it is called Rope Street. What were the ropes used for? I would not know. No. Do you know? No. <laughs> and now it is time to try a typical Romanian dessert. When we came in there were a few people waiting outside and apparently that was like a queue. They were waiting to be seated because it's chock full of space. I cannot believe how many people in like the 15 minutes we've been waiting for our table, how many people have come in and gone out again. But I cannot wait to try the best Romanian dessert I think that we all have had in this, uh, on this part of the trip. Very excited. I have this dish, this dessert, which is called Papanasi. It's essentially um, a sweet cheese dumpling covered in sour cream, not normal cream, sour cream, which might seem a bit odd. And then there's homemade jam on top of it. I mean, honestly, how good does this look? It looks like the ultimate super indulgent, super creamy, super rich dessert. I love desserts. I could not leave Romania without trying it. So last day here, so I had to try it today. So here it goes. Cheers. Good. Mm. Really good? Mm. It's a little bit warm on the inside. The jam is a little bit hot as well. Sour cream is not too sour, it's a very subtle taste. But wow, this is like a little flavor bomb. The jam is so good. Still a little bit sour as well, not too sugary. Oh. That is amazing, huh? There's some good stuff there. <laughs> now, um, take back your soup and I can eat my papanasi. <laughs> Don't you dare. For a moment there, I wasn't too sure that it was actually going to be our train. Alright, made it into the train. From now on, it will be about uh, an 11 hour journey to get to our hostel in Cairo. We will take the flight to Cairo where we'll land about 3 o'clock in the morning. So it's not really a very convenient time, but it was cheap, so that's why we bought it. So it will be like about 5 o'clock in the morning before we arrive to our hostel. It will be a quite long night, but I mean, it was a cheap flight and you know, us cheap skates. Anyway, uh, we're heading now to Egypt and in a month's time we'll head out to India. If you got some good tips for us to Egypt and India because we have not really done any research yet, uh, please leave them below in the comments. We would love to get some good tips from you guys. And uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to follow our journey and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Where will be warm and toasty.